Thank you for joining us today and I hope to see you again at our future events. I would like to begin by respectfully acknowledging the Gadigal people of the Aora Nation as the traditional owners and custodians of the land on which we stand. We pay our respects to their elders, both past and present. Hello everyone, welcome to another Affinity Lunchtime Lecture. My name is Clive Pearson and I'm a member of the Affinity Advisory Board. For those who have never attended an Affinity event before, let me briefly introduce you to the organisation. Affinity was formed by a group of young Muslim Australians in 2000. Their aim is to promote multiculturalism and to foster intercultural and interfaith dialogue by building bridges between different groups in society. To give you a brief idea of the wonderful work that Affinity does, they have put together a short recap video of their events in 2017, which we'd like to share with you now. Australia is a warm, welcoming, open country. Having respect for all people, regardless of race, regardless of religion, regardless of gender, and very, very importantly, regardless of a, the colour of a person's skin. People of all kinds are, are seeing the differences, I think, a little more clearly. For me, it's about returning to the lived experience that, that people have on, on race and ensuring that we live up to the best of our traditions as a country. And the culture that they set will be the culture they inherit. To be able to share more information, whether it's intelligence or case management material, whatever it is, faster and better. In addition, the Department of Social Services is working closely with other departments like employment, education and training, human services and immigration and border protection on improving employment outcomes for humanitarian entrants. And this has got to be the largest number that we've had here. The night is about you and us uh, and as a community. Learning from each other, that's what Australia allows us to do. We are working together to make New South Wales safer. In fact, we have done that for many, many years. As we've come from so many other lands that we were able to meet here as one. We are the most culturally diverse country in the world. Uh, we all learn a little bit more about ourselves and about our community. Ramadan is that time of year that Muslims go deep. They reset the clock, take extra time to consciously reflect on their lives and reaffirm their commitment to God and to the precious bonds that connect us all as family and brothers and sisters in humanity. Courage, you know, dedication, you know, a um, sense of a sense of fairness. What we have seen and experienced by words and music this evening are the sort of things that hold us together and enable us to move forward together. Includes indeed everyone responsible A great career and it's wonderful to see them in the context of a great organisation, Affinity. First of all, I'd like to thank our sponsors here, especially uh, Mr Ahmed Polat. Thank you so much. Thank you too to the Foundation uh, for the opportunity to be here. Faith is so profoundly important for our development and humanitarian work. Because we've got some expertise here uh, that is, uh, when it's brought together, is extremely valuable. So I asked the Vice President Global of Education for Microsoft why. And those are the values that I would continue uh, to advocate being taught in law schools in this country. Uh, from a UN report describes Yemen as now the world's worst humanitarian crisis. Thank you all for, um, for being here 
Thank you, Ahmed, and uh, the Affinity team uh, for allowing me to, to speak, ladies and gentlemen. It's an absolute honour to be here tonight to help launch an exciting new lecture series focused on young people. Well, thank you very much for having me. Um, Barack and the Affinity Intercultural Foundation, um, I'd like to acknowledge the fantastic work that you do in the community and um, bringing different cultures and people of different religious backgrounds together. I think it's fantastic. How human rights safeguards children and young people. This is indeed a commendable goal and I'm delighted to be here today to be part of that dialogue. In my view, Affinity is doing excellent work to inform and advance multicultural Australia to keep peace in this country. Congratulations to Affinity. Thank you, Affinity, for this wonderful opportunity. I, with Sev, laud the work of Affinity. Uh, there is no other organization working in the field of interreligious relation that does it the way they do it and promote actual encounter of an ordinary sort between people of all sorts of diversities. I think it's heartwarming. It's one of the f few things in life that really continue to give me hope and joy. Thank you for joining us today and I hope to see you again at our future events. Thank you so much. This is the next future event. <laughs> I would now like to introduce today's facilitator, John Cleary. John is a highly regarded radio journalist, one of Australia's best known commentators on religion. In his 30-year career with the ABC, he has worked extensively in both radio and television, but is known principally for his association with Sunday nights on ABC local radio and the religion report on ABC Radio National. John began his career in Perth, where he was one of the original Compass team on ABC TV and a co-presenter of the philosophy program Meridian on Radio National in the 1990s. For several years, John also appeared in a regular slot on the ABC Youth Network, Triple J. His 1992 book on the Salvation Army in Australia was awarded the Christian Book of the Year. Please join me in welcoming John to the lecture. Thank you, Clive, for that introduction. Well, before I proceed to introduce today's speaker, I, I think I need to make a declaration that is whilst we are talking about something incredibly important in terms of sport is one of those um, codes that binds us in, in ways that are really quite significant, it also is a subject of deep and passionate division. And here I must declare first... <laughs> <laughs> You are going to be listening to a Geelong supporter. <laughs> I need to declare my position when it comes to that, just so that we are all honest and transparent. That's <laughs> good. Sam Graham is the CEO of AFL New South Wales and the Australian Capital Territory. He's been in his role since 2015, and during his tenure has overseen record growth in Australian football in the state and territory. Prior to his role as CEO, Sam was appointed to the AFL executive in May 2013 as General Manager Strategy and Club Services in Melbourne, overseeing the AFL's overall strategy and investment into the organisation's 18 elite clubs. His achievements at the AFL include overseeing record participation in community football across New South Wales and the ACT, with female participation increasing 150% from 2016. Sam has also overseen AFL Sydney becoming the largest community football competition in Australia. In his role, Sam has also established a range of key partnerships, including a four-year partnership with Multiculturalism New South Wales. Please join me in welcoming Sam Graham. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> 